Hi, welcome to my channel, Takoyaki Taro. Um, so today I'm going to pull some cards. Actually, I do have a message. Hold on one second. I have to get it. Um, but welcome to my channel. Um, these messages are not going to resonate for everyone. Okay, just keep that in mind. Um, the way I use tarot is for clarity and guidance. And um, with tarot, you have to remember that time is fluid with tarot. All right, so I can't predict how the cards are going to come out. This could be something that you guys are currently dealing with or something in your past, yesterday, a couple days ago, weeks, months, years, or something um, that might be happening in your future. Um, tomorrow, a couple days from now, weeks, months, years, right? You just got to take it how it resonates, really. Um, but remember to take it, these videos, like, with the grain of salt because things are constantly changing and not everything is set in stone. Um, you know, so, yeah. Um, use your discernment too. Use your intuition. If these, if this resonates with you in any way, cool. <laughs> if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Don't force it to be your story. Don't make it yours, okay? Okay, I'm back. Um, so, what was I saying? Uh, messages. Yeah, okay, um, so, <laughs> I saw, um, it's like a, hold on. Okay, so, it was a picture, like, of a summit, all right? It was a summit, but the summit was, like, black, um, and then, like, everything around the summit was, like, black, but in the middle of the summit, there was, like, a glowing, winding path towards the top of the summit, and the summit, the top of the summit was, like, a white light. On the bottom of the summit was like a little, a little tiny figure holding like a staff, right? With like their cape blowing in the wind. I mean, there there had to be had there had to have been wind because it's blowing. I see it blowing, right? Um, but basically, the what I'm getting is that, you know, the collective. You have already made it through the dark part. Okay, you you found the path, all right? You're you're right there at the path. You found the path, okay? Everything else is kind of like you battled all the darkness, all the demons, all the distractions, whatever. You're right there. You're literally right there, right? All you have to do now is just go up the summit. You just have to go up, right? You just have to keep ascending, keep going, keep moving. You just take that first step and go. Just go. All right? That's literally what I'm getting. It's just just go. I'm like really, really attracted to this citrine. Like I just want to hold on to it. Like I just want to like hold on to it and like rub it and all that. It's actually really pretty. So I'm going to pull some cards. Um, I'm going to start with this deck. I actually, um, I actually had started this video like four times. I kid you not. Like I had to scratch it and scratch it and scratch it only because like it was just not the energies, right? The energies was not right. So you know what I mean. So Um, somebody's true, um, I had a dream that had to do with, like, a storm and, like, you know, like, a tsunami or not, I don't know if I should say tsunami, but it was, like, had to do with, like, the ocean and waves and all that, right? Anyways, but the dream, it was very, very detailed. I'm only, I'm only gonna tell you, like, a couple parts of it, but in the one part of the dream, like, left, right, on the right top hand corner of the dream, there was like some green smoke amongst all of the chaos going on, right? There was some green smoke and some green smoke. And within that green smoke, I was I saw the shadow of a claw and like the shadow of like some tentacles, right? Um, I feel like there people's true monstrous identities are being shown 
okay whatever they were trying to hide behind the shadows of envy all right whatever it's being shown all right you're starting to pick up on that you're starting to see that not only that but i feel like no i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna basically you're trying to change your life for the better right then you have these people in the background, hidden in a corner somewhere, trying to come through and create chaos, you know, amongst the already changing winds and, you know, changing waters and all that shit. But they're trying to hide. Like, if you could see the picture in my head, like, you would be like, oh, wow, okay, I get that. But you can't, so... I just saw the lust card. There's people or entities or uh, enemies, strangers. They don't want you to get what you want. Not only that, but they want you to be confused by what you want. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what comes out. Go from there. Uh, we have obedience, rigid, forbidden, success, and denial. So, a uh, collective, I feel like there's somebody who tends to or tries to um, be just, uh, like a righteous person, tries to be honest, follow the ru the rules, the laws, spiritual laws, You're trying to stand on your own two feet. All right. Um, there was this wall that was built up inside of you. Not only that, but somebody doesn't want this fault, this wall to crumble. They don't, they don't want you to break down the walls within you that you have built because they know that these walls that you have built within you, um, mostly out of protection, they want you to keep those walls up because once you break those walls down, you let love in, you let, um, knowledge in you let emotion in you let people in right you let love in you let god in i said love twice because it's really a lot of this has to do with love okay you're letting you're letting these walls that you have built up within you you're letting them crumble and fall and you're letting love in you're letting people in you're letting emotion in you're letting yourself feel all right you're kind of breaking away from this image that people have either built up or you have built up over built up of yourself over time because of people whatever the case may be there's a crow in this picture crows are actually very very intelligent birds they're very intelligent and they're very intuitive okay so as these walls are crumbling down you're becoming one with your consciousness or gaining consciousness all right somebody with this forbidden card somebody wanted you to feel like this was forbidden like the knowledge that you're attaining is forbidden. Um, you breaking down these walls within you is forbidden. Breaking, yes, generational curses, forbidden. Because part of that in my dream was I was talking to a group of people. Because somebody was trying to come into my home um, by sneaky um, intent. With sneaky intent. They were trying to come into my home as if they had like the right to be there. You know, they felt entitled to be there. But I was like, no, I, I stood my ground. I was like, no, you're not allowed to be here. I don't want you here. Not only that, but in my dream, I was like, I'll be damned if somebody tries to, you know, take away my generational wealth. I'll be damned if somebody tries to take away the legacy I'm leaving for my kid or right, my kids or whatever. But I was saying that, like, this is, you're absolutely not. No, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. But there you go. Yeah. 
Um, somebody wanted you to feel like this was like you weren't supposed to have this was this wasn't supposed to be the life for you. Okay, you were supposed to be kind of like trapped and have all these walls up and you know, uh, maybe you were supposed to be blinded to the truth because in this obedience card, she's holding a sword of truth and she's holding the scales of justice and she's blinded. All right, somebody wanted you to be blinded to the truth and they didn't want you to see uh, the justice that you deserved. But you, because with this rigid card, you're breaking down those, a lot of it has to do with your emotional, um, your emotional growth, okay? You may have been emotionally stunted for a while, but a lot of this has to do with your emotional growth, like um, maybe working towards childhood trauma, you know, make you work past that, okay? So a lot of that has to do with you're working past that and you're breaking down those walls that you have built up where people have helped you build, yes, because there have been people that helped you build up these walls to keep you within a certain mindset, to keep you rigid so you won't go this way or this way, all right? They wanted you to feel like this happiness of yours was like some sort of like, it was forbidden and you'll notice that because as you're like doing things that are better for you and for your life and for your future and for your kids, you are feeling guilty, like as if you didn't deserve it. All right. That's what they wanted. That's what the enemy wanted. They wanted you to feel like this happiness, this love, this abundance, this new journey that you're having in your life, that it was meant to be yours. Okay. Keep in mind, this was already meant. To, this was supposed to happen. They wanted you to feel like this was forbidden. All right, we have the success card right here and right next to success, what is it? Denial. And the success card says, congratulations, all right? You're working, you're, you're like doing it. You're literally right there at the base of the summit. You're ready to climb, all right? You're ready to do it. But for some reason, these people, they want you to be in denial of the success that you're creating for yourself, all right? It's kind of like they want you to be like, I don't really deserve this. Am I really doing the right thing? They want you to question that. They want you to be in denial of the things that you have attained to get to where you are in your life now. All right. They don't, they, they still want you to be in this forbidden mindset. All right. Not only that, but a lot of these people, they're choosing to be in denial of your success. Okay. It's like, because they've seen you as one person or they've had this particular view of you for your entire life. Now that you're making all these changes, okay, there it's like, for example, like um, if your skin color was green for, for like ever and you decided to change it pink or blue, all right, and now you're walking around with like pink or blue skin, these people are just like, they still see you as green skin color, all right? They still see you as like, oh, no, no, the collective still has green green skin color. But everybody is like, well, no, they just, they, are, they're, they changed their skin tone, all right? They're now pink or they're now blue. They're not green anymore. These people are in denial, okay? They don't want to see you be in this. They don't want you to see you with your success. Hold on. Yeah, they don't. They're very much in denial because I don't know. I don't know what's going on with their life. But um, it's like they don't, they don't want you to. They don't want you to see change. You're, you're, you're shedding your old skin. They don't want to see that. Okay. All right, all right. I'm really back now this time. Okay. Um. So, yeah, a lot of denial going on, right? But, you know, the card says congratulations, all right? You guys are, the work that you've been doing is paying off. Right. Basically, all you have to keep doing is break down those walls and those walls could be anything. Um, emotional neglect, childhood trauma, generational curses, uh, traditions that no longer work, mindsets, you know, lifestyles, people, places, things. OK, you got to break down those walls and let them fall, like let the wall fall down and, you know, be free. All right. All right. Not only, but you're realizing too that the more you break down these walls, the more and more you're gaining confidence. And don't forget to play, okay, with the playful card, you know. Um, now that you're gaining more confidence to like, yeah, you're feeling awesome, you're feeling on top of the world, right? So you have more energy to be playful, all right? These walls that kept you bound, 
and you know just stagnant for forever make me it, it consumed a lot of your energy okay a lot of you were like always tired and fatigued and all that stuff but now that you're letting go of these walls you're breaking down these walls all right you're healing you have more energy you're playful you're you're fun you're loving you're confident right so high priestess of fire a lot of you could be finding your ambition you know, you guys could be now getting more creative, okay? Finding passions in your life, right? Summon. Um, it's time to, you know, you're you're tapping within your inner magic, okay? You're you're getting your inner magic. You're tapping within. You're being creative. You have, you're finding fulfillment in your life, okay? Um, you're realizing that all of these extras. That's what I call it, extra fillers like all right like in anime all like they have filler episodes to just kind of fill in the blanks to kind of keep it going you're realizing that all of these things were just fillers in your life you didn't really need them to keep going all right you're finding fulfillment in things that truly matter you know that's within that's healing yourself all right the moon you're listening to your intuition you're tapping in hello yes yes you are you're tapping into yourself you're just uh, it's beautiful okay not only that, but with the cat here, I feel like because I said this in my last video, dogs tend to be like, okay, sit, and the dog will sit. You tell a cat to sit, and the cat is like, mm, I think I'm going to lay down here and bask in the sun. Like, I don't really feel like sitting, but, you know, I'll consider it, right? Cats are just very free. They, they have a mind of their own. You can't tell a cat what to do. That's who you are now. You're not letting these old traditions, mindsets, all this past pain control you anymore all right like if something was if somebody said something hurtful your emotions would be like okay now cry or okay now be angry right now you're just like mm, i don't want to be angry anymore i don't feel like crying like eh, i'm not I'm thanks for telling me that right but i'm gonna i'm gonna walk away now because i don't really care So you have a message. This is like a message of hope to you. Okay, with message and hope right here. Again, you have the moon in the card of hope. And again, you have a bird flying in message. So this is like, like you have like an inner knowing that this is like a message of hope to you, okay? Like you're seeing things that are just like, maybe you're noticing things that you never really noticed before. All right, like, wow, like, that flower, that flower really is pretty. Or, like, wow, um, you know, the sky smells really nice today or whatever. Or it looks nice today. So. I'm going to pull some tarot. What I'm going to pull is... I feel like what I'm really um, attracted to, right, or not track with you i'm drawn to this denial card i'm really really drawn to this denial card because you see how this hand is trying to reach the grapes but it's like out of reach i feel like this is the enemy the stranger whatever it is i feel like um either for some of you it's a group of people for some of you it's one person but whoever these people are, it's like they still want you within their grasp, okay? They still want you to, like I said, they're still seeing you walk around with, like, green skin. And you've already changed your skin tone. You're shedding, you've are shedding. you shed your old skin, right? Now you're walking around with, like, pink skin or blue skin or purple, pur purple skin or whatever, right? But for some reason, there's these people, like, they're in denial. Like, I don't know if they don't. Like, I don't know if I had, like, if they are choosing not to see the new you or they don't want to see the new you. But whatever the case may be, it's like, they still want you. Like, they still want to, like, take, like, reach, I don't know, they're still reaching out to you. I don't know, I don't know, man. Like, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pull some cards. Um, yeah, they're in denial, like, for some reason, they feel like you're still within their grasp. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are, you know, just... All right, for some of you, this doesn't even have to work. Uh, be like you're focusing on your finances. You're focused on, like, I feel like your abundance, but, like, emotional abundance, your mental health, your family, you know, but you're definitely working on your stability. Mental stability, emotional stability...
you okay? <laughs> She's so funny now. <sighs> what a day. Oh, by the way, this denial card is the lowest number out of all of these cards that are out here. Um, 14 and 18, right? And then the other cards are 30, 39, and 48. But the only two cards that, like, you know, 14, they want you to be in denial. 18, they want this to be, like, uh, they want you to feel like this is forbidden for you. Um, those two cards are, like, the lowest. I think I've been shuffling for like a really long time. Let me pull some cards now. Yeah, um, let me get one more. Ooh, like this entire pile wanted to come out like... Okay, I guess I'll take this one. Is this just one? Yeah, it's one. Alright, so we have the Eight of Pentacles reverse, the Hermit, the Devil, Six of Wands, Two of Wands reverse, Five of Wands. I'm telling you, for a lot of you, like I said, this is a group of people. This is, these, these group of people, all right, they're fighting amongst themselves. Not only are they fighting amongst themselves, but they wanted so bad for you to have such conflict and chaos in your life. Some of these people even try to cause conflict and chaos in your life, right? With the devil here, I feel like these people are very, very toxic, manipulative. Um, some of them might even like to overindulge, okay, like they like to drink a lot or party a lot or substances right with the eight of pentacles here i feel like you're detached um you've detached from who these people are these environments these literally you've detached from everything like old mindsets people places things you've detached all right just overall you have with the hermit you've gone within yourself okay you went within yourself you did the work you're breaking down these walls okay you're Seeing the truth of things, okay, you're realizing that your justice is happiness and love, all right? Like, this was meant to be for you all along. With the devil here and the six of wands, I feel like I'm getting a couple things. Um, There is a group of people that are very toxic. Um, I feel like these are layered on top of each other because that's how I see it. It's like these, there's a group of people that are just like, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you, blah, blah. But behind their fake appraisals of you, okay, behind your success is a group of people that are very hateful, okay? Like they're really, like they're literally behind you, all right? That's how I, I feel these cards are. This group of people have nothing but like hatred behind their smiles towards your success. Okay, they see you happy, they hate that. They see you smiling, they hate that. They see you ascending, they hate that. They see you, you know, um, connecting maybe with other people, they hate that. Okay, for some of you, it could be two people, but like, I don't know, it could be two people in particular that are just like gossiping and like looking at you like with like a, a sneering look, but... Um... With the two of wands in reverse, I feel like that goes like that as well. These people are looking at you with hatred and jealousy because they don't know what to do with their life, okay? They don't know where to go. They don't know what their purpose is. They don't know what their path is. 
They can't see past beyond the horizon. All right. So here you are being successful um, with your spiritual crew behind you. Okay. And then you have these people like trying to look over your shoulder to see where you're going to go next, what you're going to do next. All right. Um, these people, like I said, there's a lot of conflict. They could be fighting amongst themselves. They try to cause a lot of conflict and chaos in your life. Ace of Cups. Um, these there these people. Okay, there's no love in their life. Okay, and if they are like in some sort of first. Oh my God, my hand just cracked open. The magician. These people are doing black magic. They were these people who were trying so hard to keep you bound and um, blind to the truth and blind to the justice that you deserve that they went so far as to do magic behind your back. Not good, helpful magic. They were doing dark magic. Okay, it could have been ward magic, candle magic. Um, some of them could have sacrificed your happiness for their happiness. Okay. It's kind of like, well, I want to be happy, so, you know, screw the collective, you know, and I don't know, but, but you have success here, okay? They're fighting. Something about their magic, they're fighting because something is going on with the magic that they were doing or the gossip that they were talking about. These people, they don't have any love in their life. They're like loveless. Okay, like I was trying to say before my hand cracked open, if if any of these people are in relationships, it's like unrequited love, all right? There's no love, there's no passion. Like if it's, you know, if there's sex within the relationship, that's just literally what it is. It's like just basic, that's it. Um, Not like the style, but I mean like it's just, you know, just doing the deed and that's it. There's like no meaning, no, no love behind it, nothing. Okay, there's... I don't know, man. These people are very, um, you know these people too, collective. You know these people. They're close to you. I feel like these people are close to you, all right? They're very, I don't know, they're very hateful and jealous and... Like, I don't like they like sneering, okay? They sneer at you. Like, if you try to tell them something good about you, they'll come to you with like, oh, but what about blah, 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 right? Because they want to put that doubt in you. They want you to feel like whatever you're trying to do is forbidden. Like, you don't, like, the way they get you is with, they make you question your motives or your intentions, like what you're trying to do. Because they don't want you to have the success. They want you to be in constant denial of your abilities, your potential. It's your potential. That's what it is. That's what it is. All along, all along, all along, these people knew about your potential. They knew. Okay? They knew that it was your, you had this massive amount of potential. They knew about it. They didn't want you to, with the blindfold here, they didn't want you to see your potential. All right? So they didn't want you to see your potential, but at the same time, they were like pretending to be rooting for you. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Right? But behind your back, all right, they're, you know, just toxic, okay? They're mean, hateful people with no direction in their life, okay? No direction and no love, okay? They have a loveless life. These are the kind of people that like to fill their lives up with um, crap, junk. The high priestess in reverse, yeah. Um, Cause I just saw that right in front of the magician in reverse. For some of you, this could be a woman that's like at the head of all of this, this group of people. Oh my, yo, I keep getting this shit in my stories, man. Like if you guys have watched my videos, you'll realize that there's always a main woman, a main female, um, like behind your success looking at you with like just envy. This mess, this feminine, okay, for some of you, it's a masculine, okay, but this feminine is very jealous of you. She, like, did not want you to realize or see your potential. 
<sighs> she's just like sucks that energy out of you because I'm like feeling very like fatigued right now. Like I feel like I don't want to keep going. Like that's how she wanted you to make you feel like you shouldn't keep going. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You strive to like be the best. This woman is doing, she was definitely doing some sort of dark magic, all right? Like, this is, um, a, like, um, not a fake spiritualist, but if she is spiritual in any kind of way, she uses her spiritual gifts or her spiritual knowledge for evil intent, for self, um, self-interest, okay? Um, she's the kind of person that is all about self. Nine of Pentacles. You're very independent, or you're working towards your financial independence. Either way, she doesn't like that. She doesn't like that at all. Six of Swords, as a split the deck. Yeah, this person has been trying to do sneaky shit. Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I feel like, like I said, this is somebody that you guys know, all right? Um, I feel like they were trying to use love. Um, to be deceitful and sneaky, like they used your love to able to like trick you or make you feel guilty or make you feel some type of way. Because like I said, this is somebody that's close to you. You know this person, right? They knew your potential. They didn't want you to see your potential. So because of, I think because of how close this person was to you, this feminine, she would use love um, as a weapon so that way she can be deceitful. Um, it's kind of like, like she's narcissistic. Like, I know this person loves me, okay? They trust me because they love me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do word magical. Um, that's what it was. A lot of this black magic, this dark magic was word magic, all right? They would twist your words against you. They would... Like, if you would call them out on something they said, I don't remember saying that. I don't remember it happening like that. No, that's not what I meant. What I really mean was this. I was just joking. That's not how I meant it, all right? Like that, all right? And because they knew that you had love for them, okay? Of course, like, to you, it's like, this person loves me. Of course, they wouldn't trick me like that. This person loves me. They wouldn't manipulate me like that. This person loves me. They only want the best for me. Nah, nah. That's not always the case, unfortunately. I'm sorry. That's not always the case. Usually... You know, it's just, it's, that's just not always the case. All right, this person used your love that you had for them um, to fucking mess with your head. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. I don't know. This is something they were very passionate about doing, but also now you're, because I, I saw the High Priestess of Fire in this deck, okay? You're also getting your, you're being passionate about life again, okay? You're being, you're, Becoming creative. For some of you, this woman could have sexual feelings towards you, okay? Because they could be very passionate towards you. But with the Ace of Cups in reverse, it's unrequited. person has um they're stuck in like um a childlike mindset and i don't mean like childlike wonder like you know i don't mean like that i mean like childish ways like they just the, the things that they do you just look at them and just like really like you're an adult you're really gonna do that like you're really gonna act like that you're really gonna say something like that ace of wands um this person could use they could be so childish that they could use um, sex as a form of communication because they don't know how to communicate any other way. Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. This person is trying to plant some sort of seeds. I feel like they're trying to get you to invest in them sexually because, like I said, they don't know how to communicate any other way. So it's kind of like, well, maybe if I attract them with words, like I said, word magic, if I attract them with words that are sexual, maybe that'll get them to come to me and plant seeds in me. <laughs> right? Like, sorry, that was like a really weird laugh. But like, it's just, 
the extent that this person would really go to. For some of you, this is an ex of yours, okay? Um, for this particular scenario right here, this would be an ex of yours. All right, not only that, but they, they see you investing. Like, no, it's not fair. But for some of you, yeah, um, this is an ex of yours, okay? This is for the Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, this is a karmic ex of yours. They knew your potential, but for some reason... Which is so weird because, like, if you know someone has so much potential, you want to cultivate that. You want to help them grow that. You want to help them be the best that they can be. Yada, 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 right? You just want the best for them. But this person was, like, happy fake for your success and your potential because they don't know what their potential is. They don't know how to find happiness. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. So they feel like because they don't know, it's unfair that everybody else knows what they're doing, okay? Okay. So they wanted you to feel like it was wrong of you to be happy without them. They wanted you to feel like um, you didn't deserve to be happy without them. For some of you, you know, this is about a divine feminine and this is your masculine karmic ex, you know, that doesn't want you to move on. Okay, they try to trap you with the baby maybe or, you know, maybe somebody trapped you with the baby. But that's, that's not for everybody, okay? That's like, those two specific cards, that little segment is like a side note. That's not, that's not going to resonate for everybody. So, my throat's getting, um, it's starting to feel raspy. I'm going to cut it short. Uh, nine of wands yeah this person this feminine or masculine that's been doing that's been fake happy for you they're all stuck in their heads they're okay they're depressed or anxious all right they're constantly thinking about your ten of pentacles and this person's out in the cold so they want to come and have a reunion with you they want to come to you all right they see you celebrating and they want some of that they see you having success they want some of that for some of you, this person could be going as far as trying to, like if they see, all right, this is, for some of you divine masculines, this karmic ex of yours could see you already being in a relationship. And because of how childish they are, they could be like, well, we could all be in a relationship, right? For some of you that are divine feminines, this could be about your karmic male ex, right? I know it's going to be weird. But for some of you, he could go as far as be like, well, you can have two boyfriends or you can have two husbands or two whatever. Like, we could all be together, right? It's like that, right? This person will really go as far as to be like, well, we can all be together. Like, like, are you fucking nuts? Like, come on. Because this person's out in the cold. They're out in the cold and they see you comfortable. All right, they see you nice, comfortable, your money's fine, your home is fine, your, like, everything about you is just good, and they want some of that. But right here, it's like spirit is taking them away. I'm like, mm -mm, you better not touch that family. You better not touch divine feminine or divine feminine or um, masculine. Like, they're literally being dragged away out into the cold. Like, they're not being allowed inside the doors. Like, spirit is just like... You, know, you did way too much. You need to relax. Like, you need to leave them alone. All right? Like, this person has gotten so many spiritual smacks in the back of their neck. And it's just like, do you need a couple more? Because, like, <laughs> right? So. Six of Swords. Yeah, you guys are going towards calmer waters, okay? You guys are, you know, you guys went out of the rough waters, and now you're going towards calmer waters. You guys are making a change. You guys have, not only are you using your intuition, but with the swords here, you realize the truth. You have potential. You have unlimited happiness. You gotta, you, once you're able to break free from those walls and those, you know, those binds, okay, you know, you, this is what you deserve, okay? This is the truth, right? So you're not even worried. Not only that, but you have your financial with the queen, because the queen of pentacles is in this boat. Okay, that's the Queen of Pentacles right here. Hi. 
So you guys are going towards calmer waters. Some of you financially calmer waters. Hold on one second. So yeah, um, my throat's like getting really, really dry. A lot of this has to do with, for some of you, this could be um, a mom, a dad, a brother, a cousin, sister, an ex-friend, whatever. But whoever this person is, they put an anchor on you. Okay, they put an anchor on you, on your life, on your spirit, on your mind, on your body, on your soul. This anchor was supposed to keep you from seeing the truth about yourself, which is your potential. All right, your everything good about you. Okay, this anchor was supposed to keep you bound from that truth of potential. You were able to break free from this and take that anchor off of you. All right, and... For some reason, this person, these people are still in denial. They're still trying to find some way to um, have you within their grasp to put that anchor back on. But spirit is like literally dragging them outside of the cold and like, listen, smack, smack. All right. We got a couple of these lined up for you. If you don't stop your shit. Uh, but um, I don't know. Spirit said no. <laughs> Just like that, no. <laughs> like, can I come inside your home? No, you can't come inside this home. This home right here? You want to come into their home? No, I don't think so. No. Just like that. No. Like, um, excuse you. No. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pull some of these cards. And what time is it? 12.22, look at that. I'm getting kind of hungry too. I want to get something to eat. I think I need some water. Oh, drink some water, okay? Drink some water. I'm going to get about 10 of these cards. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God. Yo, got a yellow. Jesus. I feel like for some of you, you know who this person is. Like you, Jesus, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Uh, 12, 13, I guess I'm gonna take them. Okay. We have, I don't know why I did it. Uh, this person's just very lost and confused. At the end of the day, Despite the actions that they keep taking, realistically, um, they're just bound to the devil and they don't understand that. So they're just lost and confused. Clean out your social media. So this person could be hidden in your social media account. Um, no. Yeah, they could be hidden in your social media under like a false account or like a troll account or like a catfish account. Um, but... Either way, it's good to clean out your social media, get rid of people who you don't even talk to anymore, you don't associate with anymore, all right? Because a lot of their energies could just be, just by hanging around in your social media, it could cloud, like, you know, just put a damper on your life. I'm going to put this with the, uh, put it right there. Boom. Yeah, um, this like I, this person put an anchor on your life. Uh, the reason why this, they put an anchor on your life is because that anchor was supposed to help feed them, nurture them, provide for them, um, you know, mentally, emotionally, energetically, spiritually, okay? Everything that you had abundantly that was naturally yours in your life, hold on, right? Everything that you naturally had that was yours, they wanted to anchor onto that and feed off of that, all right? Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because of this card right here. Proverbs 25, 16. Have you found honey? Eat only as much as you need, lest you be filled with it and vomit. 
All right. These were very greedy people. They wanted to take anything and everything they could from you. And they, like I said, they, they don't care about the consequences because they just, they're all about self. I secretly hate you. Yeah, they're just fucking jealous, man. Karmic family. I told you, for some of you, this is your family members. All right. Now they're fighting against themselves, amongst themselves, with themselves. They like to play the blame game. Like I said, with the word magic, you try to call somebody out. You try to call this person out or these people out. Like, well, you said this, but they'll turn around and be like, well, I didn't, I didn't say it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I was just joking. No, no, no. You misunderstood me. That's not what I meant, right? 444 protection. The universe and your spiritual guides are protecting you. All right. This is, like I said, this was meant to happen. A lot of this was all divine timing. This was meant to happen. Um, you were supposed to get this no matter what. We have the letters S and E. All right. Um, I feel like, first of all, these could be somebody's initials or first or last name or like a place. But I feel like when I see these two letters, the word that comes to my mind is sex. So I feel like this person um, tried to use sex to kind of manipulate you or try to trap you or like to use magic or bind you. All right. Um, a lot of them, they try to be like weird with it. Like, come on, come on. I know you want it. Come on, come on. Right. Because they wanted to use that like as a means of like control. It made them like feel powerful. <laughs> Congratulations. You leveled up. That goes with and this, this card too. So you got two congratulations. You got success. Congratulations and congratulations. You leveled up. Soulless Vagabond. I'm going to hold on to that because I've been... I was curious when this card would come out. They believe their own lies. Yes, of course. And they are mentally unstable. Right. Soulless Vagabond. Um, it's going to be weird, but this is one of the cards that I am... I admire because it, it just... These two words alone says a lot. These people are not only soulless, but because now... They, it's like they don't have a home. All right, because like I said, with the five of pentacles, they wanted to go as far as, well, we can all be together. You know, if you're in a relationship with someone, well, we can all be in a relationship together. And spirit is just like, um, are you crazy? You're really trying to try and get into a relationship with this couple. Like, you're really going to try to come into their home to be with them, right? Like, are you nuts? Soulless Vagabond, all right? They don't... They don't know what drives their soul. They don't have a purpose. They don't know. I mean, they have a purpose, but they don't know their purpose. They're just very lost and confused. All right. For some of these people, they could be homeless. All right. Or they could live in a shelter or they could live in a hotel or they could live with parents or they could be couch surfing. Okay. Whatever the case may be. But ultimately what this card means is that they want to make a home where um, your home is. They want your home to be their home. All right. They want to infiltrate your house so that way they can just be comfortable with you and celebrate with you and have your success as their success. All right. But at the end of the day, like, they don't even know God. That's why their soul is vagabonds. All right. Their spirit is lost and they don't have a home. So, very sad. <sighs> so, this is the reading. You know, I'm going to close it off there. So, you know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in subscribing to my channel, um, you know, you're more than welcome to do so. It's up to, it's up to you. Um, you know, thanks for watching. I got to go. Bye.